Right now in Kenya, there are a lot of cases of conning when you're buying a land, property, land, mostly land. So today I came up with steps to show you, to explain to you, to help you understand what you should do to avoid being conned when you are buying a land in Kenya. Please stay till the end of the video and I'm sure this is going to give you an added advantage and it will help you to avoid being conned. Uh, so today I have my laptop with me, so uh, allow me to use my laptop to show you the, the steps, what you should do to successfully own a land in Kenya. So the first one is ask to see the title deed or copy of the title deed. Then do a research at the Ministry of Lands to confirm who the real owners are or if the title has any caveat on it. The search will cost you only 520 shillings. Now that's very clear. Try and do a research on the Ministry of Lands after seeing the title lead or the copy of title lead. The second one is do a search with local authorities to check of any unpaid land rates. If any, agree with the seller who will settle the land rates and be. Land can't be transferred if they are unpaid land rates. You must ensure with the authorities that there are no any pending debts on the land. The third one is go to the Ministry of Lands and buy two maps, one showing the exact measurements of the piece you are buying. The, the maps are called mutation. And the other one showing the neighboring lands. Uh, each map costs 350 shillings, so it's avoidable to avoid being called millions. So make sure you go to buy, uh, buy those maps. These maps will show you the exact land and the neighboring areas to make sure this is the land you want to buy. The fourth one is with your two maps and a surveyor, you have to find a surveyor. A surveyor is a, an expertise on lands. Visit the land you are buying and verify the details on the map. Check out the beacons. You visit the land with your, with your surveyor and confirm whether the measurements on the land and the map is the same. And also see the beacons of the land because every land has a beacon. The fifth one is sit down with your seller and bargain the price. Write down an agreement. The agreement can be done in the presence of a lawyer. According to the lawyer, if the value of the land is below 1 million, you'll pay the lawyer just 3,000 shillings. And if it's above 1 million, you'll pay the lawyer just 8,000 Kenyan shillings and avoid being con. Yeah, so you sit down with the, with, the, with the land seller, you agree on the prices. After agreeing on the prices, you're going to pay. Just find a lawyer. You write an agreement down. Something without an agreement is never is never good. You always have you, you always have to have proof of something. So after putting down the agreement, the land will be okay. The sixth one is pay some amount as per your agreement. Don't pay everything at a come up pesa. You have all of it. What I mean is, after on the agreement, let's say the land goes for two million Kenyan shillings. Then you agree every month we'll be paying half a million. At the end of the month, don't pay like uh, like the whole two million. No, or like a million. Just pay the, the half a million you, have, you put on the agreement. This will make the agreement go on as agreed. And it will avoid any bad uh, orders. The seventh one is book a meeting with Lance Control Board. That's LCB. They meet once every month. They meet one every month. Eh? It will cost you just a thousand bob. LCB will issue a concept for the land to be sold. Uh, the land's control board are the ones who issue the concept of land to be sold. So after meeting them, they'll agree that this land should, yeah, it can be sold. And this will make you to avoid be con by this seller. The eighth one is pay the remaining balance after getting consent from the LCB, land's control board. If you had a remaining balance of the agreement, you can pay now the, the remaining amount after given a, you have given a consent by the, by the LCB, Lands Control Board. 
The ninth one is go to the Ministry of Land Offices with your KRA pin, two passport photos, and a copy of the title deed to change ownership. You should change ownership of the land immediately. Remember, you carry your KRA pin, two photo passports, and a copy of the title deed. Changing of land ownership will just co will cost you only five thousand shillings. And following the right procedure, this will help you to get a good land without any problems to a good beacon. Because uh, land corners are everywhere and they are happy to do that. The second one here, at this stage, you don't need the seller. Now go pay for duty stamp according to the value of land. Because you are already given the land and the land has been transformed. So you don't need the sale again. You just go pay for the stamp duty according to the value of the land. Maybe percent value of the sales or 2% percent percent of the sales. So following the right procedure will help you big time. The last thing to do is that after doing all this, now the land belongs to you. But you have to do something. You have to go to the Ministry of Lands and do a search to confirm if they have updated their records and read your name on that given land. You must ensure you go and confirm whether the land belongs to you, whether everything was transferred and it belongs to you. Then you can celebrate. Thank you so much for this time. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, please leave your comment and subscribe. Thank you so much.